you. Good morning, everybody. Um, yes, the ESPD. Um, it's a long story, but I'll try to keep it short. Um, I've been putting this together together with uh, Ida. Um, we've been uh, working together on the, the online version of the ecosystem service uh, evaluation database, um, which I'll introduce during this presentation. Um, I will shortly touch upon the main structure of the database, uh, some of the variables which are in it, uh, the data behind it, um, the living results, Dolph already showed you some, uh, but this is an example, um, it can be used in multiple ways. Um, I will also highlight some next steps that we would like to uh, take in uh, the development of the database and especially the online version of the database and the review part of the database. Uh, potential use, and I also like to touch the topic on benefit transfer, but that's just a, 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 a remark of caution, um, because it's a, I will not go into the details of the benefit transfer itself. Okay, well these are our intentions. Uh, the, the main goal is to provide uh, a, a platform for entering, accessing, reviewing, sharing and downloading valuation data. Um, as a background, the database has been developed uh, on the DEEP project. Uh, we have used several sources of data, including COPY, which was done before DEEP as a preliminary assessment of valuation uh, literature. Um, we've also used additional uh, sources. Um, amongst others, uh, we also got uh, information from our uh, biome experts. Uh, which we consulted during the preparation of the database. Um, it's mainly focused on economic valuation. Um, I know for some of you this is uh, a limitation, but at this moment we are focusing on this due to the, uh, yeah, the accessibility of this kind of data and the fact that already people are working on it. Uh, but we, in the future, also would like to expand our focus to, for example, uh, social, cultural or ecological valuation. But I'll get back to that later on as well. Um, in addition, it used uh, fixed typologies uh, for the descriptor variables, which means that there's a list of uh, different uh, yeah, elements in the database. So for example, I will get show you later on, for the ecosystem services, we use a classification, and all users should use that classification as well. So. And that's a limitation, for, but also an uh, advantage to mainstream data, uh, which is very important for others to use the data. Um, it is adaptable to link to <coughs> other databases. And in, in addition, the, one of the main aims is to uh, discuss and improve uh, estimates of value, and especially the methods that are being applied in valuation. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a relational database, so we can link both location, the, the estimate of the value, and the publication for what set. And um, yeah, this is the website that we're um, aiming to develop. Um, we've already made a good start, so this is uh, at the moment how it looks like. Um, it's not online, it's a dummy. Um, yeah, we want people to be able to log in. Uh, for example, reviewers or people who like to add data. Uh, we want people like to submit data if they don't want to log in. But we also want to um, download uh, the, uh, the download option. And mo <coughs> most of the data will be there online for all people to use uh, at, their, uh, yeah, at a click, so to say. These are the main variables. <coughs> Um, you, as you can see, we try to describe the, 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 the reference, the publication, the location coordinates, so you can also use it in uh, GIS, um, a description as well with the country and region, but also the name of the location. Uh, there's a description of the value and other uh, descriptors of the economic information. Um, the valuation method, of course, um, biotypes, ecosystems, the services. Um, including subservices, and I will get to that later on as well, and the actual value, uh, or it, its estimate actually. Um, 
I might I know some of you may have already seen uh, an Excel version of the database and we expand on this database already that's an old version and so yeah please keep this in the back of your mind um, this is an example of the economic information we have an ID of the value uh, the method where we explained you can also uh, add a description of the valuation method applied um, you can describe the type of value it is, so perhaps it's an annual value or a net present value or other types of values. Um, we would like you to enter the, the original value but also perhaps a converted value, you can also add that. Um, and there's several other indicators to describe the value like the, the unit and the currency, etc. Um, the main variables, uh, this is an example of a typology of the value type. Um, this is something that we also would like to improve through this uh, network that we're trying to develop. Um, so th it's not just the values that will be under discussion, but all the, also the database itself. Um, we know different people have different opinions on many uh, typologies, and this is one of the things that we would like to uh, mainstream. But yeah, so that's also an, an, uh, and it's something that people can add their uh, opinion on. But this is just an example. There's. I can provide you typologies of many of the uh, variables being used. Am I clearly? Yeah? Okay. Uh, um, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm bending over to use the microphone. Um, this is the conceptual framework behind, of course, the valuation that's being done and that we want to use. And I, I just want to show you that it's value economic valuation is only a very, very very small part of the whole framework that we're applying. Um, it's only in the right corner there. And what I want to show you there in this slide is that, um, as you can see in economic indicators, um, there's different ways of measuring them. You have unit prices, but m most of the time you also need uh, ecolo ecological indicators to actually convert into. Uh, this will also be one of the attentions that we will give to in the database. So you can actually enter unit prices and ecological indicators, which are the foundation or the basis, or should be the foundation and basis of your uh, monetary valuation, if possible. Um, yeah, this is another typology I wanted to show. Um, you might notice from team. Um, this is a very broad one, and we've been trying, for example, as you can see on the right side, uh, to uh, describe it into a bit more detail so that people have more uh, uh, insight in what it actually represents, this value. Um, and this is also under development, so we also would like to expand this list. Some call this um, the, the final ecosystem services, or others. <coughs> yeah, that might relate to it differently, but I've just for the moment I've called them subservices, but this is uh, some, yeah, just a name. Uh, at this moment, there's more than 300 publications, over uh, yeah, actually 14,000 uh, monetary values. Uh, at the moment, not reviewed. Um, uh, many publications are waiting, actually, um, on many hard disks of many people around the world, I would say. Uh, we have some criteria that we use for data entry and selection. Um, for example, some of the descriptions of methods and values. Uh, of course, the biome and ecosystem and type should be ex clearly explained in the ecosystem service as well. And perhaps in the future also the indicator and the unit price. But that might not be uh, required, but it's, as, of course it's essential for interpretation. Um, second, uh, it's, it's good to be able to convert it into standardized uh, uh, units. So we've decided on value per hectare per year, but this is also for some uh, yeah, types of values quite difficult, so we would like to have this as a, as a goal. Uh, let me see. Yeah, and of course, the, the whole uh, set of values should be able to be reviewed by the uh, review committee, and it's being done online uh, through uh, the internet of the website. Uh, this is an example of the living results. Um, Dov already touched upon the teeth. This is, I would just like to show you that there's a large variety in the availability of data for different biomes. Uh, I don't know if this is preference of traveling from researchers 
or this is a real uh, a representative example. Uh, but it's yeah, uh, this is just what I would like to show you in this slide. Um, you can't really you know jump into conclusions or whatever because the, the 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 amount of data is really limited. If you maybe one thousand three hundred estimates sounds a lot, but if you split them down to the biomes and the um, services, as you can see here, um, it's, it's not so much, for example, you can see some services only have a couple of values, and that's also probably related to the fact that there's not, uh, that the valuations matches for these ecosystem services are not well understood or used, uh, uh, and, or, you know, I don't assume it's laziness of uh, scientists. Uh, this is an example as well. We can provide, you can make these overviews uh, yourself by uh, aggregating data. There's a lot of, of course, constraints doing that, but it gives you insight in a variety of the data and also the, uh, you can select different levels, of course. Uh, here I just provided an example of coastal systems. You can see the standard deviation uh, per um, service. You could also mention of, um, think of selecting, for example, only one subservice, but this, this is just an example of how it could be used. You could also, for example, select a country. Uh, so what are the next steps? Um, well, there's a lot of work in the uh, adaptation or the correction of the typology, and the editorial board which needs to be set up, and the review committee in which we would like to use the uh, ecosystem service partnership network, and of course to add um, the new values. Um, I think there's a, a huge demand for these kind of databases, but this also requires, a, 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 so to say, a team effort. Um, the database itself, we would like to improve the, the way um, economic values are described so that more types of values fit into the database. We'd like to improve the functionality with, through the website and the intranet connected to that. Um, we'd like to publish it online, as stated earlier. <coughs> and we also would like to link to other existing databases, like the one of, uh, of the Marine Ecosystem Service Partnership, uh, which is actually already in use uh, or using our data. Uh, but in that way, it will even be more easy to update it regularly or even continuously. Um, we also would like to combine efforts for communication uh, and policy making and provide clear benefit transfer guides and the background to that. Um, because we realize that if you make a database like this, this is your main responsibility. Um, we will not go into the theory behind benefit transfer, but uh, yeah, we do would like to uh, start with uh, providing uh, a guide to people. And there's already some. I will get to that later on. Um, new variables, yeah, like I mentioned, the unit price, uh, the indicator that is the on which the value is being based on, the service area is also very important. Um, well, so are the others actually. Um, some details on the separation of the spatial and temporal aspects of the value. Some there's different ways of measuring values or by uh, using the unit prices of those. And there's also a lot of discussion on the beneficiary and the provider. So we also would like to enable discussion on that. Uh, these are the main advantages or the uses of the database. Uh, it would like to be the database to be as transparent as possible. I'm not sure if this will be on the online version, but maybe primarily on the internet, but that will yeah, show itself through the process, throughout the process, I would say. As I've already showed, it's, it's, it's good to show a gap, make a gap analysis, to analyze indicators or the, the, the unit prices that are being used. Um, it serves as a bibliography of benefit transfer. You can also look, uh, use the detail of the, the database for case studies to find them, um, and in the end, of course, you can also feed into other types of research, as Dolph had already mentioned. Uh, for example, the, the IPBES, which is now being, hopefully, starting this week, I mean, yeah. uh, 
we don't have to do this alone. There's already quite some good benefit transfer guides. One of them is being made by the UK program on valuation. I've forgotten the name of the project, but one of the reports is here. Um, I think it's a clear guide, but it clearly shows that it's a complex process. And there's a lot of uh, key fits and uh, yeah, points of discussion, so to say. And that's also why we are uh, would like to have ESP in this as a yeah, to provide a, a platform for discussion on this. Well, this is the linkages, and I think that it's also showing you the next the link is link, links to the to the other presentations. For example, the one of Linwood. And next is uh, serves from uh, Jennifer, and after their presentation, it will be the the Sam presentation. So this is how we would like to use our network uh, in yeah, providing the general public, but also you here, the researchers, to a usable and uh, easy accessible database online. Okay, thank you very much. I've tried to keep it short. And I would like to have some time for questions, or we will do afterwards. Yeah. Um, no, I think that's uh, now. Yeah? I don't want to talk about the um, yeah, it's, it's, it's mainly what I showed you now. I can go into a bit more details of that. Well, Would you like to? No, I think it's better to uh, potentially show it later um, and just have questions now. Okay. So, questions for Sandra. <coughs> First, thank you, Sandra. Yeah. Yeah. If you put in the indicator, which seems quite a good idea, or in favor of that, are you also going to put in the type of linkage between the indicator and the value, for example, if it's linear or non-linear? Um, yeah, I, I think there, the unit price is one way to do that, because in economic, I think in economical terms, it's very important to provide that thing. <coughs> I was just thinking but, Yeah, there's the many aspects between the links, of course. Yeah. You can talk about scale, you can talk about temporal aspects. <coughs> so that's the that, that good Yeah, the boxes there. We haven't given it a thought, actually, uh, to how to incorporate it into the database itself. Okay. I, I agree with you. I think it's also a good idea to have some kind of a linkage between the value and the indicator. Yeah, yeah. The value is also the value on the website you could discuss the value you could discuss the value that is there. So this might be one of the topics that might be discussed. It's, it's a very good point to add I think. Um, the database uh, is flexible enough to uh, accommodate this kind of additional uh, yeah. issues. That's actually what we are looking for. Any um, <coughs> other questions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, also, from from uh, Josh's presentation, it's not necessarily a value that gives you an education, but a trend in value. Yeah. Like, uh, do we know that these values go up, so that we know that we get closer to that to those critical stages? Yeah. So, is your is your database uh, reporting on trends? And you actually, when these when these papers come out, it's kind of after the fact. That, yeah. uh, so, what is the uh, what is the theoretical background on how uh, these values actually emerge between the time space uh, yeah. framework and, and can we predict these values for the future before we actually experience you know, so how we have to look back by knowing that now the value is so high. Uh, yeah. People in the back of the room will understand the question about the trend analysis, if you can that would summarize it, I guess. Well, I think I think it's a good uh, way to use database. Indeed, it's possible. I think uh, temporal aspects are are, are are in the database. So, for example, we could add, we have added the year. For example, um, you can also have this for the unit price and for the the, the measurement of the the, the ecological indicator. Um, so, in this way, it could be analyzed. Indeed. Um, I'm not sure whether it's 
wise to do that automatically, and it's not, it's not one of the things that we are aiming at at this moment to have optimized, uh, uh, because the use of the values is kind of uh, critical, and you need to almost select them manually. Yeah. And because, yeah, okay. And I'm not thinking we will have a panel discussion at the end of the session, so maybe just uh, well, there was one more question there, and because I assume some of the questions apply to the other databases as well, and I would like to give them enough time to present their work. Does your question go specifically uh, to Sandra, or can it wait for the panel? Uh, and my, your question, do you want to pose it now as last question, yeah, and then we go to the next speaker? If yeah. possible, yes. No. No? Yeah. Okay. I uh, just mentioned the location coordinates that we could uh, add or precise when we sub submit a, a paper or a case study. Uh, I'm curious about the GIS or mapping applications behind. Um, probably you have uh, ideas about that. Uh, for coral reefs, for example, there are already uh, many, many uh, studies in the, in the database, so uh, I'm curious about this. Uh, thank you for the question. Yeah, we at the mo moment we have points simply um, because a student has been doing this for us, and it, it, yeah, it was rather difficult to map, for example, a whole country, which makes it a bit difficult. But for case studies, it's more uh, perhaps possible to also include factors in this. Uh, yeah. uh, but also, it's a it's a way of yeah, way of dealing with the data, and yeah, this is indeed a. Something that really needs uh, our attention. <coughs> okay, thanks, uh, Sandra, for the introduction.